As part of VM Blog's video interview series, I'm here with Kevin Cook, who's the product director for Stratosphere at Liquidware. How are you doing today? Very well, gentlemen. Thank you. Good to have you. Good to be had. <laughs> so as Liquidware continues to uh, innovate and support the delivery of user experience with Stratosphere, um, what innovation do you bring to the EUC market? Really great question. So one of the things that we find is many organizations think of monitoring and you know, perhaps diagnostics as a reactive task, something that you only do after you've crashed into the trade, so to speak. And uh, I'm a huge proponent, you know, Liquidware in totality is a huge proponent of, of more proactive measures of how to ensure, minimize risk ultimately, but put in place the right processes and the right methodologies, if you will, to leverage our solutions to help to be um, more ahead of the curve, so to speak. And so one of the things I wanted to share with you folks in your, your viewership today is something new that we've created called a spot check. Uh, it's a point in time um, visibility exercise that takes uh, a broad to narrow approach, looks at user data uh, and, and visibility data broadly uh, from a broad to narrow approach and can be used in a host of different use cases. And, and really, it's about becoming more proactive with respect to the management of your end user computing platforms. So, Kevin, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, I want to see if we can dig in a bit. Are you saying that the spot check inspection is a methodology? And if so, where and <coughs> how is it used? Yeah, absolutely. So it, it is about providing complete visibility. So it is a, a 360 uh, degree view of your virtual desktop resolution, including things like usage, overall performance, et cetera. But it's not comprehensive. And what I mean by that is, it looks at the most relevant information. It looks at only those characteristics that will immediately give you some feedback as to the health, if you will, or overall satisfaction, if you will, of your user base broadly. So think of it as a spot check. It's, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a mechanism by which you proactively look at your environment, uh, either um, when you know there's a problem, when there's a change of platform, or just because, right? There's really no one reason why, but it's an opportunity in a very light, uh, light resource intensive um, way to get a glimpse at your environment and use that as a mechanism to check the pulse, uh, if you will, of the environment and how well your users are experiencing their, uh, their platform and, and ultimately the resources that you've made available to them. Okay. So, Kevin, could you possibly walk us through like a real world example of spot check? Absolutely. So, spot check is, as I said, a point in time uh, series of steps. It is a methodology that we've defined, and there's some resources that we'll make sure we point you to here to, to orient you to to the steps. But it's a it's about leveraging both best practices as well as trended user experience metrics as a means to diagnose and remediate things that may be going on in the workspace, in the infrastructure, or even in the platform itself. The steps include things like a situation analysis. They include things like uh, the ability to go broad to narrow and dive deep into trends and uh, different kinds of metrics as a mechanism to ultimately uh, ensure that you're meeting user expectation and, and, delete, and delivering user experience. So, uh, as I said, you're going to start from broad to narrow. We'll throw up a few screenshots here so you can kind of see and orient to what I'm talking about. But the first step would be a bit of a situation analysis where perhaps you look at your causality time of day. Maybe you're a healthcare organization and you have nursing staff that are coming in at uh, various shifts throughout the day and you want to look at uh, utilization at those shift points. Or perhaps you're a, a, a K through 12 organization and you have a lot of turnover in your labs and you would expect there to be peaks of activity or peaks of uh, different utilization throughout the day. In this case, I'll, I'll speak more broadly at a high level, but um, with this first screenshot here, what you see is user experience trended for all the machines in this environment uh, 
for uh, a given day. And what you see is you see overall user experience and you should note that there's a couple of key areas as it relates to memory utilization and CPU utilization where things have been flagged and identified as stratosphere as, as not being very healthy. Within the spot, met, met, spot check methodology, we could then drill into that information and look at that information uh, more deeply. So on the next slide, what you'll see is we can now zoom in and look at some of those machine indicators. And, and what you see here is that uh, CPU utilization has been, um, uh, has been um, somewhat all over the board uh, for certain groups of machines. And you'll see that in some cases you've got uh, normal utilization uh, and then some peak and even peak two averages of spikes of information that may be contributing ultimately to poor user experience in a pod. As we drill in further, and we now look at those machines perhaps by time of day, and in this next graph you see now stratosphere data based on time of day, again, all machines in the same time period yesterday, you see that it's fairly consistent across the entire time of day, but there's a peak at 1300 hours. And so the spot check methodology, again, looking at a very small amount of information, allows us to identify clearly that there's something going on and it happens to correspond to perhaps an increase in help desk calls or some complaints that may be amped up at this 1300 or one o'clock hour. Lastly, we'll drill into the last screenshot here and you see now looking at it from not just a machine standpoint, but what were the applications that were being utilized at this period of time? We see that there's a couple of culprits, right? We see there's an application from Adobe, an application called Camtasia. It looks like Windows Explorer may have been a top consumer and uh, Photoshop and others. But ultimately what this, what this overall spot check methodology helps to do is with a very small amount of information, you can drill in starting wide, but go deep into very specific indicators as a mechanism to determine what may be contributing to a poor user experience. In this case, it happened to be a small group of users who were consuming all of the resources of a pod. So not only were these users constrained, but everyone else on that pod was also constrained. And it was an exercise of essentially segregating these users based on, uh, based on the application and the time of day that they happened to be consuming uh, the resources that we found. So it, it, it sounds like this is a great way to stay ahead of user ex, uh, experience issues uh, and make sure organizations are meeting expectations for their workspaces. Is that is that fair? You know, it's absolutely fair. And and you know, honestly, it's one of the things that differentiates Stratosphere. We we take a user first approach to diagnostics and really any use case, whether it's assessment, whether it's onboarding users, whether it's sizing the infrastructure, the common theme in the way that Stratosphere exposes its information and presents data back to administrators and engineers is through the user's point of view. And we do that with a composite metric that we roll up and call the UX or user experience profile score. But ultimately it's about using very granular, very time-based metrics for all machines, all applications and all users all of the time, but can roll them up and present them in a way which helps you to essentially ensure user experience uh, metrics and, and performance metrics are being being met and experienced by all. Hey, Kevin, um, before we go, I know we don't have a lot of time, but could you maybe comment on cloud and how you see end user experience moving in that direction? Yeah, absolutely. You know, cloud is the next uh, frontier, so to speak, in the EUC space. And one of the things that we find is cloud doesn't get you off the hook for user experience, right? When 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 we had physical desktops, you still had to meet the user experience and, and performance characteristics required. Uh, when we looked at VDI or RDSH or other shared types of platforms, again, user experience is rearing its head. Um, moving into the cloud is no different. Uh, putting a four gig user in a two gig image on, uh, on Google or Amazon workspaces, they're still gonna be unhappy. And so 
many of the same characteristics and many of the same uh, use cases that we see throughout physical, throughout virtual, on-prem, and uh, now in the cloud are persistent. They don't change. And so uh, Stratosphere is now, and, and frankly, all of Liquidware's product suite is being depended upon and being leveraged to help folks make those migrations and help folks ensure that they're delivering the Windows experience that's expected and that's meeting uh, all of the needs of their users and ultimately is helping to minimize risk in, in end user computing platforms. Great. Well, thank you for, uh, thank you, Kevin, for taking the time to speak with uh, VM blog and where can our viewers go if they want to find out more information about some of the things you've mentioned? Absolutely. Great question. So www.liquidware.com is a great place to start. Uh, I would also love to include some links to a white paper that gives you a little bit more information about the spot check inspection methodology right here in the uh, in the liner notes. And uh, and certainly you can reach out to me if you're uh, if you if you're so inclined as well. So, Kevin, I, I know uh, that you guys had thrown out some kind of a challenge recently. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that VM blog readers knew about it. Could you maybe talk a little bit about what that challenge is? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got this new campaign going, and uh, you may have seen it. We'll put a link here also in uh, in in the notes section uh, called the Liquidware Challenge. And and what we've done is there's a a, a few uh, categories and a few um, challenge uh, points that need to be met. Uh, and if you happen to uh, stump us, so to speak, on all three of them, uh, we will pay qualified candidates $100, cold hard cash. One of those happens to be a, a user experience exercise with Stratosphere that employs the spot check methodology. So again, we'd love to uh, have you come and see if you can stump us with, uh, with your environment, see if we can uh, leverage Stratosphere and some of the other technologies at Liquidware to show you uh, the betterment of uh, user experience. Great.